When I walk through places and I see, for instance, examples of like Roman houses that his communities would have met in, or examples of roads that Paul might have walked down, or cities that he might have moved through, what becomes clear to me is we're dealing with someone who the Romans thought was basically a nuisance, a menace to society. The Jews thought he was a huge problem that needed to be eliminated, and he made, frankly, most of the other Christ believers, what we would call Christians, nervous. And they actively went out to oppose him. But when we say things like, what if Paul was kind of a weird person? A marginal person, we're actually speaking from the perspective of people in Corinth or Ephesus or Thessaloniki. And what we're going to do is use archaeology to construct everyday life perceptions and ideas, so what you'd call social and cultural history, to imagine how they might have reacted to this traveling Eastern religious specialist. And so we're going to go from here to Thessaloniki, to Philippi, to Delphi, to Corinth, to Ephesus. And we're going to look at the archaeology that he was around or that surrounded the people that he wrote to. And we're going to ask questions about who he was and try to unthink this overdetermined picture of Paul.